Hey, y'all. I'm going to do an update on what happened to me with my um tax refund. I'm just sharing it to my group so I don't have to do this multiple times. So, for those of you who aren't already aware, me, along with a bunch of other people, did not receive our tax refund. I mean, not tax refunds, our stimulus checks. Dang, I put tax refund update. We didn't receive our stimulus checks. I have not filed my taxes. My lip jacked up. That's from having a crusty, dusty lip. I haven't... um filed my taxes for 2019 yet, but I did file in 2018, and I filed with H&R Block, did not get a tax advance, did not get, um, yeah, did not get a tax advance. However, I had the fees taken out, like the tax preparer fees, those were taken out of my, um, what is it called? Of my tax refund. So before the money came to my Emerald card, it went to H&R Block. So yesterday when stimulus checks were released by the IRS, they released them to tax preparers and people in similar situations like me. So we didn't get our money on our Emerald card. It went to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it went to H&R Block Bank. Even people who use little private Tax collect, um, tax preparers and things like that. Their money went to the tax preparer, right? So we was pissed the fuck off. The people in Texas was acting crazy. You know, we was mad about that. We wanted our money. People even went up to H and R Block. Well, on my end, my personal update. I just experienced this. I'm gonna upload screenshots because I did take some screenshots. Um, one of my Facebook friends wrote me. She was like, "Peaches, go check again." with your um tax return go to irs.gov get my payment you want to put in your address exactly how it is on your tax returns if your address is abbreviated on your tax returns like instead of it saying drive if it says dr put it dr if it has an apartment number don't put a pound sign put the just the apartment number in a space she was like if it has um the word north instead of the letter N, make sure you're putting north, the full word. You want it to look exactly how it looks on your tax return when you input this information. And then secondly is you want to have your tax return with you from 2018 or 2019 because it's going to ask you for your adjusted gross income. So this is what she told me. I literally just did that about 10 minutes ago. I went to irs.gov get my payment, I inputted my social security number, my date of birth, and my address exactly how it is on my 2018 tax return. If you don't have access to your 2018 tax return or 2019 tax return, your um, tax preparer may have that information for you, or you could just log into your online account. Like I filed with H&R Block, we have access to our tax returns online. So I just downloaded my tax return online and I saw that social security number, date of birth, adjusted gross income. That's what you're going to need. So I put in my um, social security number, my date of birth, my address, exactly how I saw it on my tax return. I hit next. When I hit next, it says, um, your refund, you're eligible for a stimulus check. You need to update your direct deposit information. Okay. I hit update, um, the bank account information. When I hit that before it'll let you do that, it'll ask you for your adjusted gross income for 2019 or 2018. For those of you who aren't familiar with income tax, your, your, um, filing for the previous year so like right now it's 2020 even though you're filing your taxes in 2020 what you are getting the money what you're filing your income tax for is for the 2019 year for those of you who filed in 2019 you filed for the 2018 year so when I say I have not filed my taxes this year I have not filed for the 2019 year does that make sense okay so I put that information in 
and it said, okay, it asked for the adjusted gross income from 2018 if you didn't file for 2019. Got it off of my tax return. It asked, did you receive a refund or owe us money? I received a refund. Went to the next page. At the bottom, it had the add your checking account, your routing number. I added that. It said, um, congratulations. Hold on. I think I still got it up because it told me to exit. It said bank um, confirmation. This is what it said. I don't want y'all to see my last phone. Um, your bank account confirmation, you successfully, ooh, I done clicked off of it. I'm so dingy. I forget my computer is touch screen, y'all. But it said that I had successfully did it. It was confirmed. I'm so sorry y'all didn't get to see that. Oh, here we go. So this is what it said. It says bank account confirmation you have successfully submitted your bank account information your payment will be direct deposited into your bank account um using the information the person who told me the person who told me to do this did this and they got their money a few hours later they sent me proof that they got their money y'all know i don't play with the proof they sent me proof like bitch i did this this morning at 6 50 I got my money already. Look, boom. When I get my money, I'll show you guys as well. Comb your hair. Oh, my God. Bitch, do my hair. Oh, my God. I'm not combing my hair today. I have on my motherfucking moo No brown. But, yeah. So, once again, let me summarize what happened. If you did not receive your stimulus check and you filed with h &R Block with the Emerald card, and you haven't received it. I'm only speaking for my personal situation. Or with your regular tax preparers. I don't know about y'all. I'm only speaking for people with H&R Block, Emerald Card situations. Because that's what I personally experienced. You want to go to IRS.gov. Get my payment. You want to have your tax return. Your tax information in front of you. And you want to allow it out. You want to make sure you input your name, not your name, your social security number, your date of birth, and most importantly, your address exactly how it is on your tax return. If it has drive abbreviated to DR, put DR. If it has the word drive spelled out, put drive spelled out. If it has the word north with just the N, put just the N. If it has it spelled out N O R T H. Put N-O-R-T-H. Exactly how it is on your tax return. After that, it will take you to the um, next page. If you answered all that correctly, it'll tell you, hey, um, we need you to update your bank information. You're eligible. Once it says that, what you're going to do is input your bank information. It's going to ask you for your um, A. GI, AIG, adjusted gross income, AGI, from 2019 taxes or 2018 taxes. If you did not file, you want to go at the most recent year. I have not filed 2019. Therefore, I had to go off 2018. It worked for me. I just showed y'all what it said afterwards. So if you're going through this situation, get on there now. IRS.gov. Um, get my payment and just make sure you put it exactly like it is on your tax return. Good luck, y'all.